Good morning. It is Monday morning, the week of 4th of July. I'm on my way to my um, aqua spin class. I have on my swimsuit and I'm grabbing my um, pool bag. Here it is. And yeah, the plan this morning is to go to swim, um, do my workout and then come back home, eat something and then I need to go take my mom to her physical therapy appointment. Um, so I'm going to go do that. Then I'm off the rest of the day. Today's Monday. I'm off today. I work tomorrow. I work Tuesday, so I'm going in the office tomorrow. Wednesday, I'm off. Thursday is the 4th of July, so the office is closed. Friday, our office is also closed for 4th of July. And then Saturday, I leave to go to New Orleans for a work trip. Um... So that's the plan. I'm going to try to take you with me. It's kind of like a slow week and I've been doing a lot of vlogging and editing. So I'm a little bit like burnt out. Um, but we're going to try. We're going to do our best. I'm back home making a little coffee. Um, I went to the grocery store and got some oat milk um, after swim. And... Yeah, I'm going to make something to eat, some breakfast, so I'm not starving. And then I'm going to um, go take my mom to her physical therapy. That's today's plan. Look at my beautiful breakfast. Those look burnt, but they're just air fried. <laughs> but gorgeous. Okay, I made it to my mom's house. I'm in her bed. <laughs> she drove herself to physical therapy. She just needed my car. And I, I brought my laptop up. I'm off today, but I was maybe gonna like check on emails and stuff, but I left my little fob that you need to log into the laptop at my house, so obviously I can't do any work. Um, I did buy my flight though. I bought my flight for my trip back from Paris. I'm going to Paris with one of my really good friends. It's She's having a milestone birthday and she's throwing a party at a villa in Champagne, France. And we're going to Paris for a few days, then Champagne, then they're going to Barcelona. While they're in Barcelona for the weekend, I'm going to London for the weekend. And then we're all going to come back to Paris for 24 hours together. But I didn't have my flight home. I only had my flight there. So I bought that this morning from an airline called French B. It's a French-owned, like, low-cost carrier. Um, but they had a premium economy seat, which just means you have a footrest. So you, you don't have a lay-flat seat, but you at least have a footrest. They had a flight on there that was only $500 and for reference like an economy seat not even premium economy just steerage on like the major U.S. airlines Delta United all of them it was over a thousand dollars and I really wanted at least a foot rest because it's a long flight so anyway I bought that this morning and then I realized that the plane lands at 9 p.m. And, how, and it only goes to Newark, New Jersey, and I still need to get all the way back down to D.C. Um, and there's no other flights after 9 p.m. out of Newark, no trains. So I will be taking the Greyhound bus at like 11 p.m. <laughs> so what will start off as a semi-glamorous trip will end up, you know, on a Greyhound bus. Tyler or yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Um, what about like in Texas? Um, they don't fly that often. He's going for his uh, bachelor party for one of his friends. Oh, that's cute. So they yeah, well they just went away this weekend. They had a great time. They were away. This was also a bachelor party. party. No, this one was just his friends and oh, okay. definitely got to go. But he leaves Thursday morning. Yeah. and flies to Florida. Okay. So, what part of Florida is the back to They're going to Tampa, but they're going to Clearwater. How fun. I guess somebody's running a car. Who knows? <laughs> You're like, it's not my fault. I mean, not it's not my, my problem. Not my problem. To deal with. Exactly. They'll figure it out. Okay. So, it has a car. 
What do you put tolls under? Miscellaneous? Yes. I feel like I asked you that once every three months. That's finished my aqua spin class and I also just realized that this weekend that I'm going to New Orleans on Saturday but this weekend is Essence Festival in New Orleans so I think I'm accidentally going to Essence Festival so that should be interesting good morning um uh it is Wednesday July 3rd I'm off today I'm gonna do a little project. I'm holding a spoon because I'm making nice coffee. But I'm uh, gonna do a little project with Suited for Change today and then have lunch with a colleague and then come back home, maybe unpack for my last trip. And then uh, I need to go take my mom to her hair appointment. She's gonna borrow my car and I'm gonna sleep over her house because her hair appointment's like at 6.30 p.m. and. She's getting her braided, so it's, she's gonna be there for hours. So I'm just gonna sleep over her house. And then tomorrow I'm gonna come back here and pack for my trip on Saturday. So come along with me on a Wednesday. I'm reheating my breakfast that I got from Ted's Bulletin yesterday. If you haven't had these hash browns, these like little square hash browns, you haven't lived, they're so good. But for right now, I'm making an iced coffee, and I got this cold foam creamer, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna make the coffee. The spoon is, um, I think I already told you guys this trick, but you put the spoon in the ice and then pour the hot coffee on it, and the metal from the spoon conducts all the heat, so the hot coffee doesn't melt the ice and make your iced coffee so watery. So here we go. Okay, ignore my background, but this is my little outfit um, to do my project at Suited for Change. I bought this from Suited for Change. Sometimes people donate things to Suited for Change that are not appropriate for work interviews. Like our whole point there is to dress women for interviews. And clearly this is very cute but there's no interview that this is appropriate for. Not one, not with a blazer, not nothing. You can't convince me it's too short, it's too casual, absolutely not. So we sell stuff, um, they do it quarterly now, 
at their boutique sales. Um, and this dress would be like 15 bucks at a boutique sale. I got my earrings there. Those are $5. I got it suited for change. So I'm going to help out with a project for the next boutique sale. Um, I'm partnering Suited for Change with one of my um, colleagues who is a stylist and a fashion blogger and she does sustainable and secondhand styling. So if you hire her to style your um, outfits or to pick out outfits for you for work or for whatever you're going to, she will do it but at thrift stores. So she'll go to Goodwill for you, Value Village, like all of those, do all of the like sifting and sorting that you don't want to do through the thrift stores to find you amazing pieces um, to fit your personal style. And so I partnered her with Suited for Change to host the next boutique sale because I thought she had a lot of clients that were same minded um, as the supporters of Suited for Change and the mission of Suited for Change. So I thought there would be a good pairing and maybe she could bring some more attention to the boutique sales because they are a fundraiser for Suited for Change, which I care so much about. So I'm going there today to help her with some promo um, photos and videos for the next boutique sale, which she is hosting. And stay tuned because I'm going to host a boutique sale for my birthday this fall. All right, let's go. Thursday, July 4th. Um, I slept over my mom's last night and then this morning we went to look at the um, 
Independence Day parade in her neighborhood. It was so wholesome and cute. At the very end, a horse got loose. I don't even know where this, I didn't see the horse in the parade. I didn't see the beginning of the parade, so maybe he was in the beginning, he or she was in the beginning of the parade. But at the very end, after all the floats had gone by, a wild horse just ran down the parade route in the opposite direction of the parade route and everybody was just shocked <laughs> my mom lives in a very like hippie neighborhood and so instead of people like freaking out and running everybody was like be free horse somebody said um started singing can't fence me in like they were like it's independence day for everyone horses included <laughs> it's just like hilarious um so now my mom dropped me off at home she's gonna keep my car I went down to my storage unit to get my suitcase. I still haven't unpacked this suitcase from the weekend I was in uh, New Jersey, but I got my big suitcase here. I'll show it to you. I got my big trunk. So I'm gonna open that up and at least take everything out of the other suitcase and open that up and start packing here. Do you like my rally shirt? <laughs> so cute. I had this made when my dog died. <laughs> um, all right, so that's my goal today, even though it's 4th of July and I know people are like having parties and stuff. I'm not really into 4th of July. I feel like black people celebrated our independence last month for Juneteenth. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna spend the day like relaxing and packing and maybe doing laundry of things that need to be packed but are dirty. That's the plan. to be known that I have a very strong love for Red Lobster. Anyways, I always did. But I just got some takeout from them. And they have an app. This is not an ad, obviously. They have an app. And if you scan your receipt or use the app when you're in the store ordering, you can get points and then you can get rewards from the points. I had a reward. So I ordered crab legs. But I had a reward and the reward was for a couple things you could pick from. And I picked from shrimp cocktail. It was delivered on ice. <laughs> To maintain the integrity of the shrimp cocktail like and look at these shrimp i mean these look these are big they smell amazing like you can't tell me that red lobster is not a quality place just you can't tell me otherwise here is the rest of my order there's like a garlic sauce on the side oh my gosh delicious Yes, garlic butter sauce on the side, of course, the biscuits. Ugh, yum. Cocktail sauce. Just a feast. Butter for dipping. My house is a mess, but happy Friday morning, Friday morning, Friday, July 6th, 4th, 5th, let's do this again. Happy Friday morning for me and all my laundry that I've been doing. It is uh, Friday, July 5th, the day after the 4th of July. My dishwasher is going, that's what you hear. I just made a smoothie, peanut butter, strawberry, banana smoothie. Um, I went for a walk with my neighbor and her dog. And now 
I'm going to pack some more. I did really good packing. Let me show you guys. But I did really good packing. I'm going to pack some more. And um, with my packing, I have way too many things in here. But I did really good. Um, more laundry rejects that aren't getting taken with me. But anyway, um, I'm going to do a little bit more packing. Maybe take a shower. And then one of my friends who lives in my neighborhood, she mentioned maybe going to Tyson's. She was like, do you want to procrastinate packing and go to Tyson's with me? I was like, of course I do. I, I thought you never ask. So I might do that a little bit later, but I have to make sure I'm back um, by like 4 or 5 p.m. because I need to finalize my packing um, before I go volunteer tonight at the cemetery. Well, at, the event is called Cinematary, but I'm volunteering at the cemetery near my house where they show movies. And I think they're showing... The sixth sense maybe this time last time i volunteered they showed beetlejuice um and me and one of my other friends in my neighborhood we are the bartenders at this event we volunteered to attend the bar which just means we pass out beer and pour wine but um yeah it's super fun and we're members at this it's a long story but we're members at this cemetery you can have a membership it helps um the money that you pay for your membership is tax deductible and it also helps keep the grounds like the Mo lawn mode and stuff and then if you have a dog um that membership allows your dog to run around in there so when i go walking in the morning with her and her dog that's where we go it's they use it off leash it's not a dog park but the dogs just run in between the headstones it's a weird concept i will admit but my dog when he was alive loved it and so i just kept my membership and i volunteer there as well so anyway <laughs> that is my plan more packing. I think I've done most of the laundry I need for this trip, but I might just do a couple more loads just so my, I come home to all clean clothes. Um, but get everything in my suitcase and uh, take a shower and then go to the mall. This is my list. <laughs> my like Virgo spreadsheet list of what I'm packing. <laughs> Oh, now the pillow feels too soft and too low. Right. <laughs> is there still any different over here? Yeah. Is it still right? Yeah. You're very level, different. I will tell you. Yeah. You're very level. Yeah. Try with the medium. Okay. Do you want to try that one with booster? Yes. I think uh, we'll see. But I think no booster. No, no, no booster? Because I think what I'm doing is it's like, it's tipping me too much. Oh, this feels lovely. Yeah. Yeah. What's this one, the medium? That is medium and king size. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, with a yeah, yeah, high back. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, I think this one probably is what I want. Yeah. I do like how soft these pillows are. Yeah, they love them. Yeah. <laughs> so what you this buy, one I have called? You buy the king one and then sometimes you push on the Oh it's yeah, it's sometimes because yeah. I sleep on my side and put one too many. It's supposed to be happy about this. Well. Yeah, it helping out. Yes. yes. I was planning to so order it it, it's three. Yeah. It comes automatically with both. Oh, okay. It's up to you whether you want to use or not. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You don't have to pay extra at all because they're okay. all together set. So. How much is this bill and what is this bill? Um, the king one is two thirty nine. The what's queen the one okay. is uh one ninety nine. Okay, and what's this one called? Um, still harmony, harmony, harmony. Uh, medium, okay. and that one is dream layer. Okay. 
Just to draw it. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Subsealer <laughs> pillows. Wait. <laughs> let me try that one just for like just to. This is that time before every trip where you try to eat everything in your fridge, including my leftover crab from um, Red Lobster and also. This is not the Cheddar Bay Biscuit from Red Lobster, but apparently my neighbor had a party yesterday and she made homemade Cheddar Bay Biscuits and somebody brought me one because they know how much I love them. So I'm gonna try hers. Okay, let's give hers a try. It smells delicious. Mm, very good. I will say not as buttery as um, Red Lobster's. Good morning. It's Saturday, July 6th at 4.20 a.m. I have no business being this alert. I just took a shower. I am very tired. Look at my eyes are red. I'm very tired. I went to bed maybe at 1 a.m. and I caught up at 4 a.m. But I have to go all the way out to Dulles, which is about an hour away from my house, to fly out of that airport. Um, I'm not, I don't remember why. I took this early flight and why I would take such an early flight so far away from my house because there's another airport much closer to my house. But here we are. I'm all packed. Of course, I found like two or three things that need to go in my suitcase. So I'm going to have to open it back up and stuff those in. Um, but yeah, I can get a dress. My Uber is coming to pick me up in 40 or 50 minutes. But I've got plenty of time. I don't have anything to do this morning except for not be sitting in my towel and stuff those last few things in my suitcase. <clears throat> um, also, today's Saturday, so maybe I'll vlog today and tomorrow, and then that'll be the end of the week in my life. And then I'll do my best to pick up a travel vlog, a New Orleans travel vlog. Um, and I also might just end this vlog today, at the end of today, and um, pick up my New Orleans travel vlog once I arrive in New Orleans. Um, we shall see. But any, either way, appreciate you watching this um, all week, and I hope it's been entertaining for you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching this from your TV, there's a way to navigate on your remote up to the thumbs up button to give me a thumbs up. And then there's a little plus sign um, where you see my picture of my face. And that is how you subscribe from your TV. <clears throat> okay, let's get going with our day. Good morning. We're off to a good start. I weighed my bag at home. It was exactly 50 pounds. I just weighed at the airport. It gained a pound in the right here, but myself and the gate agent turned a blind eye. So, off to a good start. Should we, for research purposes only, obviously, go see what the Capital One Lounge serves for breakfast? because I've only ever been here for lunch and dinner, and that was the same food. I say we go visit and see what is cooking, literally, for breakfast. Always well, good.